Police say the 18 year old woman is from Farmington, New Hampshire. It's a couple of hours away from here. They say sometime from Wednesday until Thursday afternoon, almost an entire day, she was being kept against her will up in the suspect's second floor apartment. That's horrible. No one should have to go through that. And she's only 18. Neighbors stunned to hear the allegations against 29 year old Andrew Connolly, accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting an 18 year old girl he met on a dating website. He paced back and forth, but he was a heavy walker, and you could hear him just stomping sometimes. Neighbors say they know very little about Connolly, who moved into the apartment house at 399 Main Street just a couple of months ago, only that he's from Massachusetts. Another neighbor says she remembers seeing Connolly and the 18 year old girl Wednesday evening, saying the young woman appeared to be there on her own free will, and that the walls are very thin in the house, and she never heard any cries for help. If he abducted her, how come they were sitting on the lawn together Wednesday night when I get out of work at 6.30, got home about 7 o'clock? She never um, asked for any help, never acted in fear. The neighbor's perception is one thing. The police say they take all allegations of abuse seriously. We do have a victim, and her story is her story, and we're sticking to it. The victim told police Connolly held her against her will. She told police that she had no cell phone service in that second floor apartment, but she was able to access a Wi Fi connection, and she reached out to a friend using social media. That friend is the one who called 911. Police quickly responded. Knocked on the door, he answered, asked him who he was. He stated that's who he was. Asked her, I, I, we asked if she was there. He said, Yeah, she's right in the bedroom. And I said, I need to see her, so I'm coming in. So we went in and uh, separated them. Connolly was carted off to the Oxford County Jail. The victim was taken to Bridgeton Hospital to be treated. Police say today she's doing much better. In Freiburg, Jim Keefley, WMTW News 8.